Hey guys, it's Grizzigo here. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we're going to continue our counters and collaboration series with Doc. But as usual with all these videos, I'm going to remind any brand new viewers to watch this first because I want you guys to understand the information I'm displaying to you. So with that out of the way, let's get started with probably one of our shortest videos in this series. Just like Pulse in our last episode, Doc does not have any direct or specific interactions with any of the attackers or their gadgets. Neither does he carry out any hard counters, but he does give out some nonetheless and one of those include frag grenades. Three armors are only put in the down but not out state when fragged, and Doc is a three armor, so if Doc or any other person is down by frag, they can easily be revived, being able to either escape or fight back. This ability is especially useful against floor fragging, or whatever you want to call it. Doc is the run out master, being able to heal himself from bullets in a spawn peak, revive himself from a long fall, and even take a hit from a claymore. Now of course, if there's any attackers near, it still might not end well for you, but if you are in cover and away from attackers, you can get away easily with your second life and some good HP. Bruh. Doc can also counter Twitch. Now, as of the making of this video, Twitch's drone only deals one damage, unlike the previous 10, which may sound a bit useless to use as Doc when you're 99 health, but you may be unaware of this. If a defender is in the down but not out state, Twitch can one-shot them with her shock drone. I haven't seen this in any of the patch notes, but nonetheless, I guess it's a thing now. So having Doc snipe your down teammate with a stim shot 40 meters down a hallway before Twitch shocks the poor bastard is still a notable counter to Twitch. Now we move on to our damage dealing gadgets that attackers carry, like Gridlock and Capito. Now, there are two possible ways for Doc to counter these operators. Doc can either use his stim darts to heal himself or others from damage dealt from these gadgets, or... Doc can overstim and stack up on health to charge through these gadgets. Whether that's because you need to get to the diffuser, or because you want to sneak up a staircase without alerting the enemy team. And lastly, Doc counters Kali. Kali's sniper is an auto down, and if Kali can't finish that downed enemy because they're behind cover, Doc can revive those downed teammates from range, staying out of Kali's line of sight. Now on to our collaborations, this will also be very very short. But Doc has an absolutely amazing collaboration in Rook. Rook's armored plates guarantee a down and also grant resistance to bullets. And this is a huge win for Doc, because not only can he revive down teammates, but those heals will also mean more, since Rook armored teammates can take more shots. Another collaboration, this time indirect, we have Oryx. Now, Ubisoft just reduced the damage of charging through walls from 10 to 5, so while this won't be as prevalent as before, it is nice to give Oryx some juice back because I would imagine that running through a truckload of drywall can be tiring. Lastly, a bit of a reach on this one, but if you watched my intro video, this should be familiar to you. And this is Doc's collaboration with Maestro. While completely situational and fairly uncommon, but as we always say in this series, it is something to look out for because this will maximize the amount of value that you'll get out of one stim dart since revives only give 75 health and heals only give 40. Alright guys, that's all for this short episode of Counters and Collaborations. If you're familiar around these parts, the Rook video will drop tomorrow, and if you're new, maybe hit that subscribe button in the bottom next to it to be notified when that video drops. But that's all for me today. Thank you all, and see you next time.